I thought this was going to be Celebrity Mole, with like fakey, celebrity, easy half games. I didn't know anybody would be um, trying to get buckets from a waterfall. This is ridiculous. I'm just glad Frederick's still here. <sighs> what the fuck? Am I not here, you assholes? <laughs> you guys can all suck it. I fucking hate you assholes. You know, how is all about Frederick, Frederick, Frederick? And you know, Frederick, hey, I Nikki. hate you too. Yeah. I hate all. <laughs> Thank God Frederick's here. Otherwise, we'd have to look at that big cow, Kathy. And I might vomit. True. I mean, you know, it's not personal, whoever is the mole, right? It's not like we're not going to like them or, you know, we won't, except for Kathy. No, I'm, it's personal. <laughs> okay? Whoever is the mole is on my list, and I'm going to hate you forever. <laughs> I was a cranker. And that was miserable because Burnson yelled at me and he turned into super veiny hockey dad. Come on, Kathy, push! Okay. So that was really freaky. And then I had to stop for a minute and feel sorry for his wife. I know Corbin's just in hog heaven because he used to be a carpenter and you'd think he was Jesus with the I used to be a carpenter. Corbin turned back into super veiny hockey dad, but this week's episode was super veiny hockey dad goes to the beach. I want you to start taking all these things and get all the rope free that you can out of that bamboo stuff. All right, but first I have to stretch. Stretch? I haven't flirted with him. You have acted like a slut since the day I met you. Just own it. Yay! I didn't like her. I acted like I did. I didn't. I had a very interesting strategy, which was I was determined to not run. I did not want to sweat any more today than I already have, which is buckets. So you're not even going to believe who picked me up. This is sick. Okay, so I'm hitchhiking. Can you take me to the old chart house? Just to the... Ah, oh, thanks. And this guy comes along, and if you're watching, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm going to be honest. I think he was retarded. It's for a television show. You know, I don't know how many teeth he has, but it's not a lot. Then I get in the car, and the guy's like, okay, whatever you say, lady. And this is who I choose to get a ride from. The sea captain on the right. About a mile, she said. A mile up. No, I was thinking a mile up here. So he's got a son who's about 12 who's holding his T-shirt over his face like he's on cops because he doesn't want to be filmed. He's apparently running from the law at 12, getting a good head start, which maybe he'll learn from Daddy. I'm trying to tell him, you know, we have to go faster and stuff. And then the kid goes, he's holding the shirt up. He goes, are those the people you're competing against? And I go, yeah. See how they're still ahead of us? Everyone, look at my ass. The great thing, too, is that I was determined to not have to be seen on television in a bathing suit, and I just couldn't care less. I mean, I was like, my cellulite was flying all over, and I just didn't even care anymore. It was hot, I was insane, and here's the kicker. Corbin won't stop making the boat. He's flipping out, he won't stop. This is how we should have done it, like this. I saw the These right guys think they're flattering body. me by saying they want a blowjob. I'm not kidding. <laughs> All day. They're like, you can suck it. And I'm like, really? Lucky me? <laughs> Corbin is falling and Eric is literally diving. Kathy is spinning and talking to herself and having some sort of Wonder Woman moment. I looked at Kathy at one point and she was literally hurting nothing. She was hurting mosquitoes for all I knew. She was just sort of standing there. Kathy. I don't have to go next. I mean, just trying to be polite. <laughs> I lost my shovel. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it was really hard to find. No, Harrison Ford, Ford, Ford dies. Harrison, Harrison Ford, Ford dies, dies, not her. I have moments where it's not that I'm thinking the game is absurd. I'm thinking of how absurd it is that I'm playing the game. Harrison, got him. Okay. I can't believe that I am in a graveyard with the kid from Dinotopia digging up Harrison Ford's grave. That's weird. Who wants to go first? You want to do rock, paper, scissors? Rochambeau it is. All right. Scissors. What the hell is that? I don't know how to play That's it. That's scissors. That's scissors. It is? I kill you. So you go first. I never played that. Eric and I played rock, paper, scissors, and so I went like that. Which, I don't know what I thought that was, but I thought it might be paper. And it turns out it's si. It's not even scissors. Someone came up to me and said, call me in my room tonight. I tried to get Baldwin to meet me in my room. Because she, quote, had to talk to me. And I swear to God, I think he thought I was going to have sex with him. And it wasn't what she said, it was how she said it. He was like, sure, babe, as long as you bring protection. I can't believe I'm in a bathing suit next to you. This sucks. <laughs> Look at this one. Like, I need this He was a Oh my god, what an
<laughs> I'm the youngest of six, and I was picked on my whole life. I'm thinking, oh, for God's sake, get over it. Baldwin's 36. All right, I really don't want to hear about be beaten up by Alec Baldwin, which doesn't sound like it'd be that bad, frankly. I can't believe there's only been one execution. I'm constantly executing people in my own head. I get irritated with someone, and then I just execute them in my head. I've executed Stephen Baldwin in my head like 14 times, and they're always bloody and gory. So how does that work when you're just alone in your room watching porn? Um... You just jerk off and then you get bored, or do you jerk off again later at the denouement? But I know if I get executed, I know it's going to be burst into tears. And now <laughs> I got on the show and they're like, okay, good game. Good luck, you guys. I'm going to be you, bitch! <laughs> like, it's going to be ugly. Brings us down to the short order cooks. So would you like to guess what that might be? We're going to make some grilled cheese sandwiches. You guys are going to walk across a hot bed of lava. Walking on hot rocks to get a chicken? I can go to a restaurant, a nice one. I make that kind of money. Kathy, if you're the mole, you're doing a very good job. Yes. Now you have to figure, would they want to make her the mole because wouldn't the audience get tired of her after five nights? Okay. Dear Journal, I hate everybody. Corbin's a bully. And you ladies, you'll be doing some surfing. That must be a typo. No. I think it's lunch somewhere. So you're going to paddle, paddle, paddle like a mad animal. Boom, you're up. Okay. Atta girl. Okay. Remember, knees bent. I was trying a new upside down surfing that's so edgy, no one's even brave enough to do it except me. There's no waves, no one pushed me. It was like the hand of God saying, uh-uh. Frederick can go do a beach party movie with, you know, Frankie Avalon for all I care. Because I hated it. My own sweat was like filling my left eye. I basically was jumping up on a surfboard covered in sweat with this expression on my face. I don't want to like scratch my legs up and stuff. And I swear to God, I felt one slight scrape on my ankle. And I was just like, ah, and like panicked. And I'm like, I'm out of here. I'm out. I'm out. No, I'm out. Okay, I got you. Yeah. I was like, get up and do it. I was like, look, Hooky Lau, it's not going to happen. Run, Kathy, run. <laughs> off. Eric turned into a combination of Corbin and Steven. I wanted to kick his head so many times. <laughs> Can we put our clothes back on? This is to like turn into a sorority porn movie. And I'm the headmistress. I dive down, I open my eyes, and I swear I must have some freaky, horrible underwater vision because I just see a white blobby ball. So I'm like, I guess that's it. So I go as hard as I can down, I reach down, and I don't even touch it. I don't even touch it. Kathy, come on. I dive down again really, really hard, and I'm determined. I'm gonna get that bag up no matter what. So I'm now dragging the weight bag, and then I come up thinking I almost drowned. So I'm going, I'm not capable of doing this. Well, I got a good one for you tonight. So the other day I was... You son of a bitch. Is that supposed to be me, you little <laughs> What am I, Shecky Green? What, where's my stogie? And do I actually do my own rim shot when I talk? But I'm bummed. Shh. 